Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you the advantages of installing a fuel shutoff valve on your lawn tractor. And if you follow all my instructions in the video today, anybody can do it. And today I'll be installing the fuel valve on this MTD lawn tractor. The same procedure will apply to all other lawn tractors, including zero turn mowers. So to start off with guys, I'm just going to give you the benefits of installing a fuel shutoff valve on your lawn tractor. Number one is that you can cut off the fuel flow to the carburetor when you work on it. And also when you go to replace the fuel filter, you can shut off the fuel to the filter, thus making it easy to replace the filter, work on the carburetor without worrying about fuel leaking all over the place. And the other reason why you would want to install a fuel shutoff valve on your lawn tractor is so that you can turn the fuel valve off when you put the machine away for the season. So by cutting the fuel flow to the carburetor when you put it away, you can actually start the machine with the valve off, let it run till it dies, thus burning all the remaining fuel left in the carburetor. And the reason why you'd want to do that is because if you live in certain areas of the world where you put away your lawn tractor for approximately six months like here, you want to avoid a gummed up carburetor in the spring. A high percentage of machines that come in my shop and won't run properly is due to old or bad gas that was left in the machine for months. And especially if they've left fuel in there all winter without a shutoff valve like this, the risk is much, much higher. And I see this every spring. I replace carburetors, I clean carburetors, I dump out the fuel from the tank sometimes if they didn't put it away properly. But the most expensive repair for people is if I end up having to replace a carburetor because the fuel was sitting in there all winter. All right, so now that you know the benefits, let's get right into installing the fuel shutoff valve on the lawn tractor. It's actually pretty straightforward and quite easy to do. So first of all, the fuel valve that I recommend is this one here. It's organ part number 07-406. You can just Google it or find it on Amazon or eBay or from your local small engine shop. Now, one very important thing I want to tell you guys is make sure to buy the good fuel valve. You're going to see a lot of knockoffs online and they are cheap. They might work when you first get it, but after a few weeks or months, they will start leaking. So the better valves you will find will say Fastex on them, as you can see here. And sometimes it will say JY. So these are better valves than the cheap China ones you buy because these will not leak in a week or two. And now to install the fuel valve on the tractor, what you want to do is locate where the fuel filter is. And what you want to do is install the fuel line before the fuel filter so that when you replace the filter in the future, you can turn the valve off and cut off the fuel supply to the filter so you don't have a mess. Since there's still fuel in the gas tank of this machine, I will pinch the fuel line just before the fuel filter with these pliers here. And these are made specifically for this. If you don't have these in your garage, you could always use a pair of vice grips and just pinch the fuel line with it. However, if you do use the vice grips, just make sure you do not over tighten them and squeeze the line too hard. I've got it squeezed perfectly here, so this would cut the fuel supply from going past the fuel filter here. So I'll squeeze these pliers here. Now, before you install your fuel line, you want to locate the arrow on it. This indicates the flow of fuel going through the valve. So you want to make sure that the arrow is pointing toward your carburetor. And I also have a few spring-loaded fuel clamps here. They're about half inch in diameter. So now I'm just going to cut it past here about an inch. You will see a few drops of fuel leak. That's normal. Now I'm going to install one of the fuel clamps. I'm just going to slide it on the fuel line about an inch. And again, make sure that the arrow is pointing toward the carburetor. When the switch is turned up like this, it is in the off position. So what you want to do is get the valve on there as soon as you can. Now get whatever pliers you were using to pinch the fuel line off. Now I need to bring this clamp a little bit back and get the valve all the way in here and put the clamp right where the fuel valve connects on the fuel line. And I'll just put the other clamp at the other end of the fuel line. And again, reattach the other side of the fuel line onto the valve and squeeze that fuel clamp back on there. 
And that's all there is, guys. Fuel valve is off in this position. And it's on in this position. So now when you need to work on the carburetor, you don't have to drain the fuel tank or pinch the fuel line. You can just turn your valve off and proceed from there without a huge gas leak. So as you saw guys, it's quite easy to install a fuel valve on your lawn tractor. The main reason I install valves on my equipment is so that I can run it dry. By doing this, you're going to preserve your carburetor. It's not going to get gummed up in the spring. We actually put our machines here for approximately six months during the winter. They sit there and they don't run or most of the time the people don't even start their machines in that six month period. So there's a lot that can go wrong when you have fuel sitting in your carburetor for that amount of time. So with a $10 fuel valve and again buy the good ones because the cheap ones for $2 will end up leaking on you. Thanks again for watching guys. If the video has helped you, please like it share it and subscribe and you guys can see me on social media as well facebook twitter and instagram and have a great day